Friday, April 22nd, almost 8 a.m. Today's Kawaii Con, first day of Kawaii Con. I'm gonna try and vlog today. I don't know how that'll go, considering I don't like being a public nuisance, so like I don't like recording myself in public, but I'm gonna do it to be an influencer, to be a YouTuber. I'm doing it for you guys. Should be fun, or at least not traumatizing, so. I have to leave the house around 11 or a little past 11 because opening ceremonies start at 12. I have a few things I need to do before I go, including like just getting ready, putting on makeup. I want to paint my nails before I go. And then just making sure I have everything that I need. And eating breakfast. I have to eat breakfast too. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I guess we'll do that first. For the opening ceremonies of Kawaii Con, and then I basically just hang out, walk around Artist Alley and Dealer's Room for a while. Two events that I maybe want to go to are at 5.45 p.m. cosplay photography for cosplayers. I've been getting into cosplay more recently. They're giving tips on like how to pose or how to take your own pictures without a photographer, that sort of thing. And then at 6 p.m. there's a Riot Games free play tournament which means like League of Legends ARAMs. As I was saying, Riot Games free play tournament, which is League of Legends ARAMs Valorant death matches, as well as I think TFT custom lobbies. Um, so that's what I want to do today. Mostly going to check out um, Artist Alley and Dealer's Room because those are my favorites. So that's the plan. This is going to be the fit for today. I posted on TikTok a whole bunch of different outfits that I wanted opinions on and this one. Got a lot of comments about it. So I think I'm going to do this. The check cute little heart shirt. I have a couple necklaces here. I painted my nails. It's very light pink and black. They're like alternating. Very cool, very swag. Light pink skirt that matches my nails. And also heart tights and uh, combat boots. I have a bow in my hair as well. Um, and then I'm also wearing this cute little bracelet that says magical girl. Wow, very cool, very swag. Thank you. This is also the bag I'm going to be taking. I have a whole bunch of cute stuff on it that I'm excited about. Inside, um, this is an extra mask as well as, I think, gum in there as well. I have like a portable charger. I have my camera charger. This is like makeup and toiletries for anything that I need touch-ups for throughout the day. I have a comb in here also, and then I have my wallet here. I also have my little wallet thingy that has all my credit cards and my ID as well. And then this is also my vaccination card that I have to show at the con. This is the first time Kawaii Con will be back since the pandemic started. They had originally tried to do another convention in August of 2021, but then that got pushed back till now. I went to Kawaii Con annually starting back in eighth grade and I went every year uh, up until I was a senior in high school and then I went to college on the mainland. Kawaii Con happens always in the spring and so I would always be away at school in my spring semester when Kawaii Con happened. So, um, I was never able to make it in college, so this is my first year back to Kauai Con after about a three year or so hiatus, and I'm really excited to be back. I love conventions, I love seeing all the artists in Artist Alley, and also all the merch in Dealer's Room. It's just a good time all around. I also love seeing cosplayers. I think they're really cool, and I like taking pictures of them or with them, depending on the characters. And it's just a good time all around. I think the atmosphere in Hawaii is always very warm and welcoming and Kauai Con was my first ever con so it'll always hold a very special place in my heart so I'm really excited to be going back. I'm not really looking to spend a whole lot of money I'm just mainly looking to hang out and have fun since it'll be my first time back so I'm excited for that. I'm a little scared of talking a lot in um, public and like recording myself in public so a lot of my vlog footage from the actual convention may just be uh, me filming things just because <laughs> I don't know if I'll, I'll be able to be a real vlogger today But I'll try my hardest. I swear <laughs> it'll get easier every time I do it, right? Signing off for now. I will see you at the convention and I don't know. Maybe we'll talk there. Who knows? Okay. Bye. I'll see ya I made it to QuaiCon and wow look at the people look at the cars look at the squishmallows look at the uh... Art. Look at it's been about, oh god, five hours since we got into the convention. Line was super long at the beginning. Got our stuff, walked around Artist Alley for a whole long time. I picked up 
Oh my god, hold on, look at this. I picked up a whole bunch of artists' uh, business cards because I kind of wanted to get a lay of the land, see what artists were here and whose stuff I liked, and then tomorrow I will go back and buy um, whatever things I wanted to buy. I saw a lot of cute apparel and stickers and um, charms and stuff, and so that was cool. In about 30 minutes or so, I'm actually going to be leaving the convention to go eat dinner with my friends, and then we're gonna go get ready for a rave tonight. A cosplay rave um, hosted by this group called Senpai Squad. I'm gonna dress up. Don't know as what yet, but I'm gonna be there. That's what we're doing. Sorry I haven't been filming so much. I have social anxiety. My first rave ended up being super fun. There was this guy playing Clash of Clans and I was playing Cookie Run Kingdom. Some of my friends and I were wearing matching maid outfits, which was adorable. And here's my full fit for reference. I think the only disappointing part of the rave to me was when one of the DJs ruined the drop of Clarity by Zed and I was super sad because it was my favorite song. And you can literally hear how disappointed the crowd was afterwards. <laughs> Day two! My dad's in the car with me. Say hi, dad. Hi, dad. Oh, well, you know. Ha <laughs> <laughs> good one. Dad <laughs> jokes. Dad jokes. I have two things I possibly want to go to. One is the K-pop dance workshop panel thing where they're going to teach us a K-pop dance and then we'll play K-pop random play dance. And that'll be fun. I've done it before uh, and it was really fun. So I'm curious what they'll teach us this year. And then later that night is also a Teddy Lloyd X Demon Dice concert. I don't know if I need tickets though, so we'll see. But that's gonna be day two. I'll show the fit later because I can't in the car right now, but yeah, okay. <laughs> bye vlog, say bye vlog. Bye vlog. And then I barely filmed it all on day two, but here's the fit check I was talking about as well as a picture of me with one of my mutuals and a cosplay that I really liked. And stick around for a little wrap up summary of my time at the con. I just got back home from my second day at Kauai Con, and I think it's gonna be my last day. I'm so, so tired. Today was the day that I actually bought things at the convention because yesterday, as you might recall, I collected a whole bunch of business cards on the first day of Kauai Con. I didn't buy an item from every single one of these artists, but I got some stuff that I really like, so I will show some of that to you now. Some of the stuff is already on my bag. This little Sylveon pin, as well as this little bunny pin, super cute. I also got this lovely little curvy keychain. And one of the reasons I got it was because, no shot you're gonna be able to see this, but it actually says one up girl, or not one up girl, one up on the bottom. Um, and I really like it a lot. I also got this little pure vanilla charm from Cookie Run Kingdom. And also from Cookie Run Kingdom, I got a strawberry crepe cookie. Uh, acrylic charm. I got another Kirby acrylic charm. This one is for like a little Kirby Pocky. I also got another enamel pin. Oh, little witch bunny. Super, super, super adorable. We also got a Fang acrylic keychain. Fang is one of my favorite Animal Crossing characters. Here is that keychain. Last but not least, I also got this little guy. They had a lot of plushies at the convention, but I told myself I wasn't allowed to buy anymore because I have too many plushies as is. But this is a sadness bunny, and the woman selling it was really adorable because there were all these different stories about the sadness bunny. But essentially, what the sadness bunny does is it eats your sadness so you can be happy. So I got this little sadness bunny to eat my sadness so I will be um, more happy more often. I share this bunny with you, my viewers, so that it may eat some of your sadness too. Um, nom 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 nom. Okay. Um, today was mostly doing that, buying all the stuff that I wanted to buy, as well as I went to a K-pop dance workshop. These two girls from a K-pop dance cover group came and taught us Watata from Kepler. <laughs>
and afterwards these three different girls came up to me and asked for me for a picture and I was I, I felt so flattered. Um, I got recognized by a lot of people this convention. On the first day, I got recognized by this group of three guys who took a picture, and then later that day, I also got recognized by one other guy who also took a picture with me. And then today, I got recognized four times. The first time was actually a Zhongli cosplayer from Genshin Impact, who had a really beautiful cosplay, who, <laughs> while I was walking into the um, artist alley area, uh, they said hi Umi and I said hi and I was very caught off guard and I kind of just kept walking because I didn't know if they were they wanted a picture or anything because they were, looked kind of busy they were with other Genshin cosplayers and I didn't know if they were doing their own thing so I just kind of said hi and bye so if you're that Zhongli cosplayer I'm so sorry that I didn't stop and talk more um, but it was nice seeing you and then I think two very young girls from the k-pop dance workshop came up and we took a selfie with all three of us and then another um younger looking girl or at least she was very short um also came up and asked if it was me and asked if she could take a picture and that was very nice and all three girls there were so so tiny so i was like bending down to to, to pose for the picture but they were very nice about it and then for the rest of the day, I kind of hung out with my friends who were there. We sat around and watched a league tournament and that was pretty fun. And then we also went to a Demon Dice X uh, Teddy Lloyd concert. I was hoping there was a little more Teddy Lloyd because I knew he was having a concert on Friday night, but I went to the rave on Friday night. So I was hoping he would also play here, but he was just DJing for Demon Dice, who is a very talented performer. I don't really know much of their stuff, but it was a fun concert. I have a very short clip of me going up to film, but then being told that I shouldn't. So here's that. Man, how awesome is that? And then after the concert, as we were leaving the venue, uh, this girl actually came up with a couple of her friends um, and said that she loved my videos and asked to take a selfie. And I said, of course, and um, that was really sweet. So. Thank you to everyone who came up to me at Kawaii Con, said hi, and if you recognize me but were a little too nervous or too shy to say hi, that's totally okay, and I'm probably more nervous than you are anyway, so. I've missed going to Kawaii Con for the longest time, and I'm really glad I got to go back this year, and I'm so glad I got to meet so many of you there, and see us just a whole bunch of other stuff as well. I plan on going to TwitchCon later this year as well, which will be in San Diego, and it'd be nice to meet a whole lot more of you. I also kind of want to make candy to give out to people who recognize me, because I think that would be really fun. So maybe I'll prep that for TwitchCon. And on top of that, I would also love to meet a ton of the streamer friends that I have because I know a lot of them also plan on going. And so it'd be really fun to see everybody. So KawaiiCon down, TwitchCon next. Hopefully I will get better at vlogging by the time TwitchCon rolls around. I don't know how this vlog is gonna go, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless because I enjoyed the experience. Maybe it wasn't documented well, but I really did have a good time at KawaiiCon 2022 and I hope to go again next year and maybe next year's vlog will be even better. I think that'll be about it from me though. Future me, good luck editing this video. I hope it goes well and I hope I gave you enough footage or at least you can work your editing magic and make this sound good and look good for YouTube. Otherwise, for the rest of y'all, I hope y'all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or good night, wherever you are in the world. I'm Umi, and I'll see y'all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.